shit that will make your ears bleed in the stream that the FBI is always listening to. I'm talking about Hacks Radio. Big shout out Mr. E and the Fixer and the rest of the crew over there. It's Monday. It's time for the Hacker News Update. First thing up, uh, another Hotmail AOL and Yahoo password reset zero day vulnerability. Um, it was reported on Thursday, a zero-day vulnerability in Hotmail, which allowed hackers to reset account passwords and lock out accounts, real owners. Tampa Data add-on allowed hackers to siphon off the outgoing HTTP request from the browser in real time and then modify the data. When they hit a password reset on a given email account, they could fiddle with the request and input any reset they chose. Microsoft spokesman confirmed the existence of the security flaw in the fix, but offered no further details. On Friday, we addressed an incident with password reset functionality. There is no action for customers as they are protected, was the quote. Later in the day, another unknown hacker reported another similar vulnerability in Hotmail, Yahoo, and AOL using the same Tampa data add-on. Uh, attacker was able to reset passwords of any account remotely, and it's a somewhat critical vulnerability. Uh, millions of users can be affected as a result. And the description, the demonstration of the vulnerability and how it was done is available on thehackernews.com. So check that out. Next up in the headlines, Afghan Taliban website hack third time. Uh, hackers have for the third time in less than a year attacked the main website of the Afghan Taliban. Images of pigeons and Taliban executions of women were combined with various messages in English, Pashto, and Arabic that support the Afghan government, replacing the Taliban's usual pabulum of exaggerated battlefield claims and anti-government commentaries. Uh, the Taliban has blamed Western intelligence agencies amid an intensifying cyber war with the insurgents. One of the statements posted in English read, Any kind of violence is condemnable, especially killing of innocent people. It is the responsibility of Afghan security forces to provide security for the country after the withdrawal of foreign troops. It was hacked again by enemies in foreign intelligence services. Taliban spokesmen... Zabahula Mahajid said, the enemy tries to push its propaganda, the enemy is worried, but what gets published on our web pages, it's confusing for them, so they try to react, so hacking and whacking, going nuts all over the place, and next up, accidentally invented, another uh, denial of service attack using Google Spreadsheets, Panos Iperodius, a uh, computer scientist working at New York University, attack on his Amazon web service using Google Spreadsheets. and uh, He checked his Amazon web services bill last week. It was $1177.76. He had accidentally invented a brand new type of internet attack thanks to the idiosyncrasies and the online spreadsheet Google runs on its Google Docs service. And he has inadvertently trained this attack on himself. He calls it a denial of money attack and says others could be susceptible too. On his personal blog, he explained that it all started when he saw that Amazon Web Services was changing, uh, charging him with 10 times the usual amount because of large amounts of outgoing traffic. As a part of the experiment in how to use crowdsourcing to generate descriptions of images, he had posted thumbnails of 25,000 pictures into a Google document and then he invited people to describe the images. The problem was that these thumbnails linked back to the original images stored on Amazon's S3 storage service, and apparently Google servers went slightly bonkers. Google just very aggressively grabbed the images from Amazon again and again and again, he said. And then last but not least, the anonymous is added again. 
International Police Association website defaced by anonymous hackers. That is outstanding. Anonymous hackers have defaced International Police Association on Friday afternoon, and the anonymous hackers responsible left an angry message on the website's homepage stating that they defaced the page for the lulls, but also warned that it might have stolen some sensitive data. The message posted at the top of the page reads, uh, Hello, International Police Association. You will see we has had some lulls at your expense. Maybe you will fix your security issues, and of course, we always recommend you not store admin passwords in plain text for a site like International Police Association. We really expected more. Uh, good lord, the hackers are running wild. You were resting over the weekend and Interpol's getting taken down. Outstanding. Much love to everybody over at HacksRadio.com. Everybody else be safe. I'll bring you another update coming on Wednesday.